Ottawapiskat Chief Teresa Spence's protest against the Harper government is taking a new turn tonight. Spence is in the third week of a hunger strike to draw attention to living conditions in First Nations communities in Canada. As our Ottawa Bureau Chief Jacques Prevost tells us, Spence is now clarifying her demands. In the midst of an Ottawa snowstorm, Chief Teresa Spence emerged from her teepee to take a walk down to the shore of the Ottawa River. Sixteen days into her hunger strike, Chief Spence says she's feeling the effects. I'm getting weak every day and, uh, and uh, when I talk too long I get really dry so I'm, I'm constantly thirsty. Spence's protest is aimed at improving the living conditions of Canada's First Nations. And today her spokesman wanted to clear up what it will take to get Chief Spence to call off her hunger strike. We want to clarify, we're not, we're not, we're not requesting for a personal audience with the Prime Minister. We want to make a, we were asking for a commitment to initiate that dialogue to discuss treaty relationships with the First Nations leadership. What this means, according to Spence and her supporters, is they want Stephen Harper to call a meeting quickly that would include the Prime Minister, a representative of the Crown, Premiers and First Nations leaders. It's a simple request. It's a meeting. Like, why, why are they so afraid to meet with us? You know, like... It's not as if we're taken to court or starting a war. There was no response from the federal government to this clarification, although in a letter he wrote Christmas Day, Aboriginal Affairs Minister John Duncan said he was prepared to establish a joint working group of federal and First Nation representatives to clarify the treaty relationship. In other parts of the country, protests are being staged in support of Spence. In Sault Ste. Marie, First Nation protesters block transport trucks and CN rail traffic. While in Nova Scotia, as many as 200 members of the Mi'kmaq First Nation began a four-day hunger strike. We want to be able to sit down together and consult on, on treaties and on bills and things that are going through. We don't get that. We're told what to do. We're told what to do and what's best for us. Teresa Spence is aware of the many First Nation voices supporting her, but so far the person she wants to hear from remains silent. Jopper Bow, Global News, Ottawa. And one footnote to this story. Canada's propane industry is calling for an end to the Idle No More protest in Sarnia. Sarnia is on a key rail line and the industry says the blockade threatens the supply of propane used by thousands of Canadians to heat their homes.